YouTube channel so today we are at the uh, Alta detailing clinic uh, Suleiman Ali owns it he's also got this beautiful uh, next orders are here to pack yeah and he actually sponsored me a detail for my car yo, more than a year ago and every time when he's available and I'm busy working or whatever he's working on. so yeah we're finally doing this today is the 27th of February we're gonna take you through the, the process today of what gets done and yeah i'll introduce him to him now and then we'll, we'll speak from there so guys uh, this is Suleiman, uh, the owner of uh, Alta detailing clinic clinic here we go Alta <laughs> detailing clinic i know this man so long i don't even know what his <laughs> business name is i talk too much nonsense on whatsapp that's me. true that's true so yeah Suleiman, you can for um sponsoring in this video Anytime. can you can you tell the people when you actually sponsored me the video <laughs> <laughs> so i think i think this is more than just a sponsorship i think your goal when you started the 2z um 2z nation youtube channel was to educate people as much as possible yes, on the actual 2z ge mm -hmm. i mean it's a good motor it's a strong motor but people are scared to touch on the motor because nobody knows how to work on it you take it to this mechanic the car comes back broken you take it to another mechanic it comes back even worse yeah. so it takes a certain skill set to work on the engine itself and to know the car and i think yes this is a sponsored video which we spoke about in february, february. last year yeah. And I've been busy, Saeed's been busy, but I mean, eventually we got the chance to meet up. And this is an educational video. I think it's not to really show my workmanship or what I do, but the main purpose in this series, because it's a two part series that we'll shoot, is how to wash a car, how to decontaminate a car, how to clean your rims and tires properly, how to prep a car for polishing. What to look out for when polishing, what sealants to use once you're done polishing. So I think that's the main purpose of what we want to achieve today. So enjoy the video and hopefully we can get some good before and after this. Huh? Inshallah, we, we're trying to get before and afters because the car the is too clean. The too clean. There's no swirls. I think maybe I had to take a loss and throw sand on the car and make some swirls for us to actually get some liquor footage. But we, we're definitely going to see a difference. Um, yeah, so Lemon's. Is, how long have you been doing detailing, by the way? So detailing I've been doing for the last four years. Okay. Um, professionally now, let's call it the last two years. But I mean, with all small businesses, you start off with your friends, your family. And once you realize, you know what, this is actually a skill set that can be used within the industry, you start going big. Okay. So the last two years, you can say that we've really grown. But before that, it was more friends and family. Alhamdulillah. But yeah, we, 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 we don't want to keep you up and uh, we're going to start the video now, guys. So yeah, peace. Short. So this is all I'm going to Very nice color. I think it's similar to Ibrahim's, if I'm not mistaken. As you can see, he was saying now I'm making him a car with no swirl marks or nothing. So what is he not gonna show that is the difference here? But I think we will definitely see a difference. The course color will come out a way a lot better. Um so this is what we're working with. As you can see, it is a clean car. So we can't really show before and after, but we're gonna try and find some swirls and then we'll show you. So yeah, just check that. That's a before. It's a dirty then. Okay. A steady cleaner. Okay, then you'll clean it. Can I get the light for now? Cleaning your tires, your rims, and your calipers. 
The important thing to use is to use a proper rim and tire. Iron X, so this is one from Carpro. And what I like about the Carpro one is that it eats through any dressing that you have on the actual tire, any brake dust, any iron particles that removes all of it. So the proper process of how to do this is to spray on your solution first on the dry tire. There has to be a dry tire, dry rim, so please don't rinse it at first because you want the actual chemicals to react with all the iron particles. Make sure that when you do spray it, that you spray it in the barrel of the rim as well. So as you guys know, I also have a Runex, so I understand that using a rotted brush in here doesn't work as well as using a actual foam sponge. So I've made one, taken a big sponge and I've cut it up. And what's nice about this is that it fits in here, so I'm able to clean the rim on the inside as well. So spray the solution on first, let it dwell. And then while I, while I leave it, I like to take a brush, it's a hard bristle brush, and then what you do is you start cleaning the tire itself. And if you come closer, Saeed, you can actually see all the dirt that comes off the tire itself. Yeah. And the reason why we clean the tires because the tire gets dirty. In order for your tire dressing to actually bond to the tire, you need a tire that's grease-free, that has no previous um, dressing on it, and that way it stops any of these build-up. So this build-up is actually tire dressing which hasn't sealed or set onto the it's rim and actually it. shoots off. So we try to stop that from happening from by cleaning the tire. With the, with the tire we wash the tires and rims twice so this is just the first initial wash to loosen everything up you take your brush it can the be the next rim has these dots in it these four dots and these also get very dirty so what you do is you just hold your brush and you make sure that you clean in there and then you always have to make sure that the Toyota center cap is nice and clean and once You've done with all of that, you take your detailing brush and you make sure that you clean the caliper itself because lots of brake dust actually sits on the caliper. So it has nice red caliper so we want this to shine and not have any black markings on it when we're done. So when you're done with your first wash, you take your high pressure gun and you just rinse everything off. There's always going to be soap and water that stays behind there. So if you are using a high pressure gun, just set it towards lower setting. Okay, and then again we follow the same process. And this is a very important step. So lots of people tend not to wash the barrel, as they call it, the inside of the rim. So because the Rannex has such a nice rim to clean, you can actually take your sponge, place your sponge on the inside and just clean it. And let me just clean my hand. So Saeed's car was clean when it came to me. And if you look behind the rim, the spoke itself, you can see that it's dirty. I can choose any one. And there's lots of dirt because no one actually cleans behind the rims. But it's very important to make sure that you clean behind the actual spoke itself. And then one last time, just to make sure that we clean the tires properly, we go ahead for the last time and we brush. As you can see, there's still dirt coming off the tire. And what we actually want is for this foam to be white. Right. That's what we're looking for. That's our end goal. And then once you're done, take your high pressure gun and you rinse it.
So, so it can move closer. Let me show you something. Uh, so I don't know if you guys can see, but in this section over here of the tire, it looks a bit dull, like a grayish oh. dull. That's because the tire is clean there. You can actually hear. Yeah. It's clean, but if you move along here, there's still some residue, so it doesn't make that sound. Then one last thing we do before we move on to the next car is you know some cars have a, it's almost like an upholstery um lining on the mm -hmm. inside of the fender that's a soundproofing but with the Rannexes they have plastic on the inside and lots of dirt so, it's so we take the same cleaner and we spray it on the cover by the shocks by the shock adapter mounting just make sure that it's all sprayed there and you let it dwell for about a minute or two and then you rinse everything off before you move to the next tire and as you guys can see we actually it's still wet but we got the tire yeah. clean as you can see so as it dries now you'll see, you'll see it, yeah. so it doesn't have that that old fatty stain yes like, oh yeah, all the so tires. it'll be a clean dry dull tire and that's what you want so this is what, you, this is what he's talking about yeah and you can see it at the bottom there. nicely as the tire dries, and yeah, as the tire dries, uh, which we didn't have before. We didn't have before. Uh. So yeah, so that's how to on the deep clean of a rim tire, your brake pad, and the oh, fender. And the line, uh. So this is what you do before you wash the, the car, because your your rims are the dirtiest part of your car. So if you clean your car first, you saw there's a lot of water and soap that shoots over the place. You're giving yourself more work. So you do things systematically. You start off with the rims and tires, and then you move on to washing the actual car. So I'm going to just uh, put you on a time lapse. and then. Yeah. To the fucking up faculties, they've been trying to break down my lyrics. I'm spitting so mathematically, they think I got a formula for raising the bar. I'm shooting the stars, trap music overpowered by bars. Listen, I could spit on rhymes, saying that I got cash in my pocket. Thinking I'ma fuck your bitch if I empty my wallet. But it's a vibe, a little fittest, you gotta fight to survive. Understand happiness, so pain will burn in your eyes. Living life to the fullest, you know I'm always on my grind. I'm out of my mind, but being great is not a crime. I gotta succeed. I I know I bleed when I cry I ain't stopping for nothing So I'ma rap till I die I'm on the rise I know they gonna hate me I stay out of trouble Winning's the only thing I see I am a beast Believe me I damage lyrically Yeah Okay So we've completed the tires And the rims And the calipers And the fenders All of that is deep clean now So the next part of our process Is to use a snow foam cannon Or a lancer as they call it the main purpose of this thing is to shoot out foam onto the car, not to wash the car, but to pre-wash the car. So what that means is there's dirt on the car, so we all know so each car is super clean. But if you come here with a dirty car and we spray this on, it's not to wash the car. What we do is we spray it on, we leave it for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we use a high pressure gun and we rinse off majority of the dirt before we hand wash the car. Because if your car is covered on dirt, rainwater, dust, and you just spray this on and wash it. You're taking sand and dust and you're scratching it into your paint, which causes all of those marks. Small marks and stuff. So the best thing to do with a snow foam cannon, it's actually a pre-mix. So it's normal car shampoo, 300 mils and 700 mils of normal lukewarm water. And if you're using the color one, if you're using the normal white one, it doesn't make a difference. I think the color is more there for the user experience. And when you shoot your snow foam on, always start at the bottom. So you start at the bottom when you shoot your snow foam because that's normally the dirtiest part of the car. So you want that to have the most time to soak. So you start at the bottom of the car and you work your way up to the roof. You do the back, you do the other side and then you do the front. So just set it quickly. Uh, 
became a line to lyrically live your life like I'm low. So from Canon is called the MJJC Pro. The nice thing about it is that it has a nice sturdy bottom. So even if you place it down on the floor, it will stay there. It hardly falls over. It has a big opening on top for pouring all of your shampoos and water in. It has a grip as well in the event that you need to open it. It has copper fittings, which is a lot. It will last a lot longer than your normal plastic fittings. It has your mesh in there. There's everything that you need. What also makes it nice is that the pipe has a weight at the bottom. So I don't know if you can hear it. Oh. So no matter how you move the cannon, the pipe will always be do, do. where the water is. Oh, yeah. And that's why, that's why I'm able to turn. I can move because of the weight that's on the pipe. Without the homies. Pause. I said, lyrics come to life. Some of the lines that are cold that got me sleepless nights. Always prepared to fight, but never shine the light. Niggas die by 21, getting high as a kite. But then again, we all got problems in a different way. Stuck in our way. So now what we do is we leave this on for 10 minutes. There are small little gaps within the car. So you can take a detailing brush, a different one to the one we use on our rims. And while it's soaking, you can clean in there. You can clean the badges, you can clean under the boot. We're going to do that now. Cool. Okay. So what I like to do is I start on the first side that I actually spray the snow from. And like I said, I also have a running, so I understand yeah. the tricks. One of the tricks is to always turn the side of and get in here. Because lots of dirt sits in there. And then when you rinse the car, you dry in the car, you just see these black marks yeah. Yeah. falling. So the best thing to do is to actually move the side mirror. And then to clean over here, lots of time the microfiber sponge doesn't get into all of these little crevices of a car. So I like to clean all of this first. And then on top there's a lining where lots of water and dirt sits in. So I also like to clean in there as well. Just running water on the bonnet of the car. And can you guys see it? It sheets. And when when water sheets off a car like this, it means there's no beading, which means there's no protection on the paint. So there's no wax on, there's no um, graphene on, there's no ceramic coating on. So what you're seeing here is an unprotected car where the water just sheets off. And when we're done with the car, it'll bead. Now what beading means is the water will be pushed away, um, almost like two magnets with the same north and north. When you push them together, they repel one another. So the protectant that we'll put on this car after we've um, polished it will then seal the car, ensure that if it does get wet, the water beads off. If it does get dirty, the water, sorry, the dirt won't necessarily run off but it doesn't stick to the actual paintwork. So when Saeed washes his car again and he uses a high pressure washer, he can just rinse all of the dirt off a lot easier than if it wasn't protected. I'm the local, the local go on the low. They love you till they all love you, my nigga. That's our ghost. Yeah, you already know. It's a jungle and that's what it come and go. I'm the local, the local go on the low. They love you till they all love you, my nigga. That's our Keep them hands up, get your bitch on both knees, record them. So we've pre-soaked the car, pre-washed the car, majority of the dirt is off the car, so now we're gonna hand wash the car. So what you do is I prefer using a microfiber um, 
pad when I'm a washer, when I'm busy cleaning a car. Only reason is foam has a tendency to create swirls. And when it picks up dirt, there isn't enough surface area to hide the dirt. So you actually swirl your car more. So with this microfiber washing mitt or pad, I place it in the wash and I make sure that there are scuds everywhere and I always start on top of the car. So I start on top of the car and I work my way down. What I also do is at the bottom of the car over here, I use a different washing mitt because I don't want to damage or decontaminate this mitt in case I use it again on any other car. So I always start on the top. What I've learned, or in my opinion, that never make circular motions when you wash your car because if it does make any marring, it's difficult to remove circles and to remove straight lines of the polishing machine. So I always use straight motions. So I always go from left to right and then up and down on one section and then I move over to the next section left to right and then I move up and down I don't put a lot of pressure, I let the mud do the work I let the soap do its thing and I'm hardly pressing on here at all so once you've done the one section you go over to your rinse bucket to make sure you give it a thorough rinse so that if there are any sand granules or any dirt or insects in here, you rinse it and then you place it in your wash bucket, make sure there's enough scuds everywhere and then you move on to the next section which would be the side of the car. My camera, this right here, dope steez, it is a slam, yeah I'm like the OG, yeah. So the cars, rims are done, tires are done. We pre-wash the car, we hand wash the car now, and it's time to rinse the car. Once we're done rinsing the car, so it doesn't have any protection on here, and the paint isn't badly contaminated. But for best practice, there are some fallouts on the car. We're going to use a synthetic pad, not a clay bar, and we're going to remove that. And we'll go into a bit more detail about synthetic pads, um, synthetic, yes, synthetic pads and clay bars. Cool. At least rinse the car first. Hey. Okay, uh, yo, hey. Numb. So your bitch give me that cookie. She was what niggas still cooking. Mm. She with the tea I book. I was pumped deep, I shook her. Uh, all of my niggas ain't staying awake. I got the chin and I fuck it up. Look at her face when I sum it up. Most of y'all niggas are snakes, but can't slide in the pussy. Uh, I was a nerd and they said I was late. So there we go, guys. The car's been fully washed now. The last step before we start drying the car and polishing the car is that we need to decontaminate the car. So, uh, this a lot. so I just want to make sure that the, the paint has been prepped well. So I'm using a foam pad, synthetic foam pad. I'll show you guys now. So this is what the pad looks like. It's a normal foam pad on the one side and on the other side it has a synthetic compound um, that's very sticky and you wet this with soapy water, you wet the panel with soapy water and you just use it in a crisscross motion. So from left to right and up and down and there'll be a big difference in the way the paint feels. So when decontaminating a car, you can start on top, you can start at the bottom, you can start anywhere, it's all on your preference. As a test, I like to start on a fender. So what I'll do is, um, Saeed felt his car early on, I'm going to just decontaminate the one section and then you can feel it afterwards and you can tell me if there's a difference or not. So the one thing you have to do is you take your soapy water and you just wet one section. You take your foam synthetic pad, rinse it in water and you in a crisscross motion without any pressure, you're not pressing, you're just holding the pad, you move it from left to right and up and down. The nice thing about the synthetic pad is that it doesn't mar your car or create as much soil marks as a normal clay bar and in the event you drop this on the ground you can rinse it under a tap and it, all the sand will be removed. However with a clay bar you spend about 200 rand on one clay bar you break it in half you're busy using it and by mistake it falls you have to throw it away you can't use it again. I 
think this is a faster way also, no? It's a lot quicker, yes. But it, say for example it is like heavily decontaminated, must you still use clay or can you still use that? So it depends on your time. Okay. If you have time, you can use this. Okay. But you're going to use it once, but in soccer you're going to feel like right? there's still some decontaminant mm. on, you're going to follow the same process about three times before this gets mm. rid of it. So if you have time and you're willing to do it, you can use this one. But if you press for time and you need to get rid or clay the car quickly, mm. then you use a clay, clay bar. bar. Yeah. Because you're never going to use a clay bar as a detailer without polishing. Yeah. If you do, then it's yeah. concerning <laughs> in our opinion. But then again, it depends on what you, the state of the pain, what the customer requests, and what your time duration yeah. is. So, yeah. Saeed, before I rinse off all this, can you come feel this paint now? Big difference, yeah. Like, now it's smooth. It's, a lot it's sleek smoother. now, it's sleek now. Yes. Right? And so, before it was smooth, but you could still feel that your finger was still basically stuck in. Yeah. decontaminated, dry thoroughly, and it's ready for it. it's polish. So we're going to start polishing the car now. So what we'll do is when we start, we'll do a test panel just to see um, how the compound and the pad reacts to the paint, and then we'll see which one is the best one to go with. Cool. Um, before you start polishing your car, you always need to find out what's a proper system. And when we talk about systems as detailers, we're referring to the type of pad and the type of solution you're going to use. So many detailers, we always start with the least aggressive method and we test if it gives us the results we're looking for. If it doesn't, we either change the solution to be a bit more aggressive or we change the pad to be a bit more aggressive. So for now, I'm using a cutting compound and finishing polish. It's all in one because he doesn't have a lot of soil marks on his car and I'm using a fine polishing pad. So the easiest way to condition a pad is to actually put four lines on the pad. You, put, you place it straight on the panel and then on the lowest setting of your polisher, you just hold it in one spot, making sure that the solution is spread all over the pad. And we do this because the pad needs to be covered in the solution before you start polishing the car. So hardly any pressure, you put it on your lowest speed. And you switch it on. You move the pad around in one spot. So 
as you can see, the solution spread over the entire pad. But the next step that you have to do is to actually take an air compressor or a brush and you need to brush all of the solution off before, because this is all excess before you start polishing the car. So let me show you. So you get a brush and you just brush off all of the solution. So now you're sitting with a pad that's fully primed and ready to polish your car. Yeah, because we must saw that that the easing there. So when polishing the car, you need four pea-sized amounts of compound. You don't need too much because you only work a small section at a time. So it's best to just use that amount. You dab it over the test panel that you'll be using on a low speed. You spread the solution and then you move it to a higher speed. So the solution has been split so we'll do four passes so one moving up and down and then so two moving up and down and two moving from left to right Whenever you're done, please switch off your polisher, wait for it to stop and then take it off. Because if you just pick it up while it's all spinning, the solution is going to shoot all over your car and you have to rewash your car again. So let's have a look at it. Let's see what we did. We forgot all of that hazing out. I can see a better reflection already. Mm. See, it's clear. And if you look here, there's hazes in the light, mm. there's marks, mm. and then there's nothing. Mm. It's a jungle, and that's what it come and go. Come and go. I'm still local, the local got on the low. Yeah. They love you, so they all love you, my nigga. We don't like the goalies, huh? but keep them hands, hands up. Get your bitch on both hey, knees, record yeah. her on my camera. Oh, yeah. That's right here, dope steez. It is a slammer. Hey. Yeah, I'm like the OG, yeah, I am the handle I'm like she try to control me like she Adam Sandler So my side in 4D, no, I don't get paid But I'm hot, I drink some OB, then I threw a tantrum She said that she ain't know me and that I'm a handle But you know I'ma blow them out I blow trees, I spray bullets on my uncle I'ma kill the one that took him Homie, I'ma go about Straight thought, just straight bully, I ain't from the south We grow trees, we sell cookies That's why they come and go. I'm still local, the local go on the low. They love you till they all love you, my nigga. That's how it goes. Yeah, you already know. Yeah, it's a jungle and that's why they come and go. I'm still local, the local go on the low. Yeah, they love you till they all love you, my nigga. That's how it goes. Yeah, you already know. Yeah, jungle and that's why they come and go. Come and go. I'm still local, the local go on the low. Yeah, yeah. They love you till they all love you, my nigga. That's how it goes. So, I just want to show you this. The car is almost done polishing. Um, so, Layman's just doing the pump quickly. So, I didn't record the whole process, but I don't know if you can see that chick over there. This was uh, 
what does this say here in the five states? The no, one stage, two stage actually. What is this? One stage, one, one stage. stage. One step. Just one step polish. Uh, and it's not clone bosses. So, yeah, look at that reflection. And we must still do the coating. Ceramic coating. So, we must still do the ceramic coating. So, I'm going to show you that afterwards. We're busy adding, what is it? So this is a graphene coating. Graphene this coating. is a turtle wax graphene coating. And you can apply this by machine because it's not aggressive at all. You just need to use a wax pad on the machine so that it doesn't tap into the paint. But all we need to do is we need to spread this out on the cast paint in a systematic order. So if we start at the bonnet, the first place we remove it from is the bonnet when we're done. How I normally apply it, so if it's a bonnet, I make three lines across the bonnet. One, two, three, and these are my reservoir lines. So as I'm putting it on, I'm moving a circular motion from right to left. And when the pad runs out of graphene, when it hits the line, it adds that's more graphene. To it. So that's the easiest way Slim. to do it. And you do that across the whole panel, and you leave it on for five minutes. And there's a special way to remove this graphene coating which I will explain to you when I'm done with the entire car. You cannot just wipe it off. If you wipe it off, it's going to smudge and leave a residue behind. So there's a technique you have to use to take it off, which not many people know, hence why they don't like using the product. But for me, this is the best product to protect your car with right now, in my opinion. And you can go buy the products at 500 and some other in a bottle, and they sell it at most of your hardware stores. So that's the bonnet done. When you wax up off, you don't take a lot of time. You get the wax on as quickly as possible. possible. And then you move on to the next panel. And what I normally do is I just take small four drops. And then I continue with the rest of the car. So I'll leave the bumpers for last and then I'll move on to the fenders. I'm even learning a trick here to polish the wax mark or something. I, I just used to put it on and put the whole fender for I didn't know about the three line thing and the three line thing actually works quite. And and the thing is with wax, the more you put on, it doesn't give you more protection. It yeah. just means you're wasting yeah, the product because like the product's sitting on top of each other. Exactly, yeah. So you actually need a very thin line of wax, ceramic coating. And the nice thing about these products, you can even put it on your lights. If you put it on your lights, your lights will also be protected, so when you're driving and it's raining, water will just bead off of your lights oh. as well. All the parts like the side mirrors, I normally just take one drop and I place it on. To lyrically live your life like I'm lonely And I'ma leave the jungle without the homies Pause, I said lyrics come to life Some of the lines that are cold that got me sleepless nights Always prepared to fight, but never shine the light Niggas die by 21, getting high as a kite But then again, we all got problems in a different way Stuck in my ways, praying things will never be the same Living life to the fullest, you know I'm always on my grind I'm out of my mind, but being great is not a crime I gotta succeed, I know I bleed when I cry I ain't stopping for none, so I'm a rap till I die I'm on the rise, I know they gonna hate me I stay out of trouble, winning's the only thing I see I am a beast, believe me, I damage lyrically 
I've been the same person since high school and that bothers me Old friends call my phone still claiming that they still fuck with me My music made a buzz, not too commercial but it's over So this is, sorry, this is a sponge that you can use for your tires It's actually clean, it's just a glove that's dirty And it actually fits perfectly on a tire But I don't use it like that, I use it horizontally because it's just easier So you apply your tire dressing One line per tire, you work it in so because this tire was clean properly, it's very dry. Can you see it's absorbing the, yeah. the dressing? So you put more than what you need on so that it can absorb as much and then you wipe the rest off. And then later on you might just roll the car to the front and get to this part of the tire. Before you you let this stand for about 15 minutes to half an hour so it doesn't matter how thick the dressing is you just need it to be thick to absorb into the tire and then afterwards you'll wipe it off with a microfiber cloth and always remember to get into this bit here yeah. for those of you that don't know this part of your tire is actually meant for when you take corners at high speed the tire moves so this ridge just stops the tire from jumping off the rim if you didn't know. Quiet. And that's why stage tires is not quiet. <laughs> stage tires is cuck. <laughs> anyway, some people think you put stage tires on your car wheel spin a lot. Spinning ain't winning. So this is what you want your tire to look at. Forget about the product leveling out or anything. This we fix afterwards. There we go. Yeah. Wait. Check that. Look at these tires. When did you put that stuff on? About a week ago. Yeah. You were actually making cuck because oh, oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna now want to buy all the stuff. You save and you buy it. It's the same like me. I didn't. Just buy everything all at once. You build your your toolkit as they uh, call it. So you you save, you buy, you save, you buy, and once you have everything, you do what you have to do. Right. It's all about sacrifices. Oh yes, I didn't do it at the back, but this tires tire job works very well on here as well. Okay. There's a lot of dirt in the exhaust from the engine and the fumes and it stains the actual metal of the exhaust so the best way to get rid of it is not to the sponge it's actually to use some sandpaper so start off with a thousand bit of sandpaper and what you do is you work it on the inside but you must wet sand it because we don't really want to damage it we just want to get rid of the staining so it takes about a few Passes. Passes before it actually starts getting off and it will leave behind some marks but that's why you start with a thousand grit once it's clean on the inside you then move to two thousand and then you move to three thousand to give it that proper finish and then at the end you then use um, auto saw to polish the inside of the exhaust so as you can see it's actually it's becoming clean And that's the only way you're going to get it clean. You can't use anything else but the sandpaper method. It takes some time, it takes some effort, but it gets the job done. And don't, if you have a chrome finish on the outside, don't don't use the sandpaper on the outside. Only use it on the inside. Mm -hmm. so wait to social for the inside world to notice me. I've had so many offers and features, but I just shake them off. I'd never waste my time with these niggas. Ain't beneficial, ain't on my level. My bars rock out against all your pebbles. My flow's retarded, you plan retarded when they call you special. So 
want to dunk in the exhaust pipe with your different sandpaper. You take some photos so you place it on the outside, on the inside, so give it a good polish. Then you take the cloth, clean inside, and you pick up the cloth and put the cloth inside for any canola. It's to make sure that you take a weight cloth, so you wait to the normal cold water. You then rub it on the area where the graphene coating is on, so you choose a section, so if it's part of the bonnet, for example, you wipe it on half of the bonnet. Now this you have to do in a cool area because if it dries it defeats the purpose. So once you've, you've done that, you take your mic microfiber cloth and you wipe the area. Wipe the area and once you pick up all of the residue and water, you flip it over and you buff the area. And that's how you remove the graphene coating without leaving any residue behind. There we go. So you do that right around the entire car. Once what... we're done doing that, we'll show you guys what it looks like. Mm. So I always make sure that I spray it on the cloth. I use a long air microfiber cloth. Spray it on. Plenty, okay. And then I wipe it. I wipe the windows. So this will be my wet cloth. And then I take a second microfiber. And I go ahead and I clean the window. So, Saeed, I want you to have a look at your window. I know this sounds dramatic, but you see how quick that was. Mm. No streaks, yeah. no nothing. And the window is clean. So, we've done a lot to this car. The paint was in a very good condition to start off with, but there was a lot of work that we put into the paint to make it look the way it does. Saeed, you can testify to this the way the car felt when it came here compared to it leaving now. It's a completely different car. The rims, the calipers, the tires, everything on the exterior of the car has been dressed, protected, polished deep cleaned so this car is good to go for another six months so That's normal right. washes every week or every second week you wash your car and in the next six months you can come back again and we'll reseal your car if you guys want to know how to do it you can find it on Saeed's channel on YouTube the full process it will be posted there if you want to know anything or get into contact with me Saeed will leave all my details in the actual description of the video so you guys down can, below <laughs> so you guys can give me a call whatsapp me get me on Facebook Instagram all of those details Details will be there. So Saeed Shukram for actually making time. I also made time for this to take place today and I'm very impressed by how the car came out. Um, I'm, I am uh, blown for words like they say. <laughs> but um, yeah, Shukran. Shukran Bhutta. So, yeah, this is just the finished product. I'll just take a walk around quickly. I took a few pictures which I would also uh, insert if I didn't insert it already. Um, but yo, nah, really. Like this color just stands out way more. Everything is just check this reflection. I don't know if you can see that reflection. It's like a lot of sun, it's very hot here, but the reflection, even the wheels itself, the color is like look like it was just a respawn. But um yo, definitely. See if I can get in that reflection there. Did take a picture of the reflection there. You can see the light pole. I'm sure, you can see the light pole. The light pole's on. The reflection. And and the side, yeah. Check there. Check the reflection there also. Yeah. So the exhaust is also clean. I don't know when last I saw the inside of my exhaust, but yeah, that's that. Very clean and yeah. And also, I wanted to say sugar to Suleiman's wife for actually uh, putting up with me. I was, I've been here since 8.30 8 this morning. She's supposed to go to a baby shower, a drive-by baby shower, and they ended up not going because I think I made them late. No, 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 we're still going. We're oh, still, you're still going. going. They're so, running late, so as so any baby shower, so we can still make yeah, it. Yeah, no problem. So <laughs> I just want to say sugar to her for actually uh, sitting up with me the whole day. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, 
Like he said to me earlier on, his wife supports his passion. This is not so Lehman's even the job for those of you that don't know. I'm a learning development he's, manager. He's a learning development manager. It's, it's, it's I think nice. it was a good informative video. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and yeah, shot. So, this is just a few days later after we detailed my car at Alta Deal Training Clinic. Um, I just wanted to see this quickly, so this is the ending last night. You see how the water beats. A whole lot of dirt, that's the whole roof. I just thought I'd bring you that. So I obviously never did this before. Even when I used wax, when I used wax, it still didn't even do this. So it's something good. And obviously the protection is definitely there. There you can see, I just pulled out the button. And uh, but eat it off like that. If you check your other side again, the car's completely dry. There's only water on the top. Check here, so it's because dry. Uh, and it looks like it's just washed out. So, yeah. Kill season. I pray to God he don't run upon me Cause I done seen these niggas take a life I'm getting paid but I feel lonely And I look to God if I need advice All I say is let's get it homie Really I don't need to even tell him twice A ghetto kid knowing war only Grew up walking around with a knife They try to run up on me Woo! Yeah, but I am not ready to die Yeah, I know they plotting on me Woo! You know I gotta survive I bodied niggas with back when I thought I was rapping for fun. Yeah. Rapping for fun. I'm killing niggas with words. Most of y'all pull out a gun. Pull out a gun. I got a team, we put in work, recording album a week. But you niggas are sleeping, never sleeping. I got a reason to take out this gun if you're weak. I gotta elevate, I ain't tryna be featherweight. I smoke a blunt, record, now that's meditate. I gotta levitate, gotta improve, gotta show my CD that I'm loving the view. Ayy, what that mean? I'm headed to the top, I ain't never gon' stop. I'ma drop like I'm a rock, all my bars are heavy. I don't think a nigga's ready. I'm headed to war and choppers like I'm a shady. Ayy, you see my homies never really saw the vision. Gotta ask permission for my own mission. Nah, fuck that, I'ma stay wild and changing clothes. But you niggas 